Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Gustav Carl. I tried to get a live commentary round for about an hour and a half. It didn't work, and then when I stopped talking, I was actually magically able to play when my focus was not divided. N imagine. But anyway, yeah, uh, here I am. It is the Gustav Carl. It is a 650 General. Because it has active guard, I guess it has no dodge roll. But uh, it's it's got a decent skill set. Has maneuver armor. Has uh, it's ground compatible, so slightly better boost efficiency on the ground. And it's it's not bad. It's big, of course. It's about the same head height as the new Gundam, I believe, and much much uh, thicker. And it's using the uh, Jagan Type D's bazooka, which kind of looks tiny in its hands. Not gonna lie, beam rifle does too. But in the promotional art, it showed uh, using the bazooka under the arm, which I kind of might prefer, though it might... Uh, I don't uh, know if I'd be able to get used to that targeting height instead of it coming from, you know, the shoulder. But, yeah, I realized that uh, that Totus Ritter was locking on to me, so it seems like a good time to just go elsewhere. So it and whatever type of uh, flyer that was didn't, uh, didn't focus me down. Got back with the team, which was, you know, the smart thing to do then spotted this Zeta Gundam trying to move on me. Something hit me, not sure what. Might have been the Totus Ritter from this direction. But it was the Triblades, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, now I am getting focused. That happened to me a lot. It's a big target. It really is. And so I just uh, backed off because I really was kind of getting sick of uh, getting stunlocked, which was most of the evening when I was trying to do live commentary on this. So, but there's that Zeta, and I missed. And I missed less, which is good. And yeah, just a little bit of hesitation because I wanted to make sure the first uh, uh, stun took before I bothered with the uh, downswing because if it didn't, there was no real point. Maneuver Armor ate that because I was boosting at the right moment. And grenades there so I wouldn't uh, stun my ally. I don't think the grenades produce enough build stun to uh, uh, stun uh, something on their own. But that's okay, because you've got a, a stun-on-contact beam rifle, stun-on-contact bazooka, and a Sturmfaust, so, which has a pretty good splash zone, I think. I did get myself caught by the Zeta there. I have melee defense of 50, so, you know, it's type neutral, and it has a uh, biosensor going, but we managed to, between the two of us, we managed to take it out. I probably would have gotten killed if I'd been doing it alone. I was not quite uh, ready for, uh, for its uh, melee there. Which is dumb, because I'm like a big proponent of that melee and how easy it is to ca uh, catch people off guard with it. I should know better. But got that Hyakushiki Kai. There is the Shars DJ, which I'm going to try and kill, but I'm getting stunlocked and killed and everything. And yeah, somebody got it on the ground, and I didn't realize until too late to do anything about it that it was still alive. Had a tiny sliver of health. There's been a lot of that tiny sliver of health thing going around. I will admit that since... It takes every slot you have to get it to all 50 uh, defenses. It does feel maybe a little underpowered. I do want to try building it for uh, for damage sometime and seeing if that feels better. But just you know, I had 50 in all three in all three defensive slots. That's not something that I get to do very often, and I wanted to give it a go. So, but right now they are up 3530 to 6900. We're you know, we'll, we'll get close, I think. I don't recall that we won this one, but we managed to get close. And at almost 3 in the morning, with rendering still ahead of me, close is good enough. So, let's see. Grenades out. Not quite enough, again, to uh, kill that uh, Yagdoga. Managed to finish it from there, though, so that's okay. Um, I think that was a Gune Doga in Quest Colors, uh, specifically. But, okay, yeah, Sturmfaust is out. I finally remembered I had it. It hit the building, which, not very useful. That hit the building, too, so I'm just... I saw the uh, sabers on our uh, uh, G5 uh, booster type moving in, so I decided I would just pull back and wait. Uh, pop the guard for a second, because I thought the bombs might fall on me. They didn't, luckily. Not yet, anyway. Um, I... There was a round where I actually made pretty good use of the active guard during support fire. I'm hoping it's this one, but uh, we'll find out if I get focused uh, half to death in just a second. I'm just waiting for a good shot on that person who's nearly dead. I uh, the, Somebody is saying to advance, but 
No, it, right now it's four on five, and it's it's yeah, it's four on uh, four on no four on five or four on six, and that's not the best time to advance, even if one of them is about, uh, about to die, especially because I can't get a good angle on that one. So uh, there's another. I think we have two Gune, uh, Gune Dogas actually. So yeah, there's one. There's the other. So. Yeah, a lot of raids on this map. That's not the worst news for me, because, of course, I am a general. And with my defenses being as high as they are, I, you know, I can tank even more from a raid than I can from anything else. So, let's see. That dog is going to run, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, it is running. And I think, yeah, I think the person manages to, no, I uh, managed to get it with a uh, single grenade. And I'm just going to... Uh, Go around the corner and kill that. Got it. Did get caught, but uh, I think that would have been a heavy... S no, that's right. I think the uh, Gune has piercing rather than heavy stagger, so uh, uh, I was just coming out of maneuver armor, I think, when it uh, caught me. Or I've got it backwards, and the maneuver armor did reduce the heavy stagger to just a stun. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, number three got that Shars DJ. This is the first time I've actually been able to get the... Uh, camera to go underwater in the Carl. It's like just the right height for most of the uh, time I was using it, but no matter what I could do, the camera level stayed above water. I don't know what made the difference this time, but yeah. And another Vulcan kill there. And yeah, I'm doing a pretty good job of just closing on things generally here. Like wearing them down, I'm not great at that because, of, uh, again, I have the basic attack power it can have. My, my attack power, like, except for one point of, of melee that I got from the two duplicate Gustav Carls I got, uh, I got, you know, that gave it some hanger value. My, my d attack literally could not be any lower in any category uh, than it comes at default. So, But with a minute left, we are just slightly ahead. So this isn't the round where I managed to tank a full round of support fire and catch some enemies in it, though. That was fun. That's like one of the few things I did that was worthwhile in a bunch of rounds that really weren't. So I have very low health. I'm, and I'm. I got so focused on the things in front of me, I didn't see this Totus Ritter coming until it was almost too late. And I, uh, right now, I just want to get away from it because I'm trying to stay alive as long as I can. Unfortunately, it uh, it caught me and it uh, killed me with the incoms. I think either that or one of the Dogas caught, uh, got me. Okay, yeah, Gune Doga got me. That was funnels, not incoms. It looked more funnily, but you never know. Uh, 13 seconds left, and yeah, they pulled ahead by 1,500 points, and I'm pretty sure they're going to end up staying there for the rest of the round, because uh, it's a pretty tight uh, battle there, and I don't think anybody's going to pull anything off. Yeah, so we're 1,500 points behind, so we didn't quite make it, and uh, number one is apparently irate about this, and tough luck for them, because I think uh, we did pretty well from starting out 4,000 points down. 4,725 points. Like I said, definitely the best I'd done. And yeah, just, uh, yep. And just pardon me while I uh, confirm this person's pl uh, profile and block them. That's just a thing I do when uh, people act like that. But uh, yeah, so I don't have a lot of patience anymore. Seven kills, two deaths, no assists. It was all kills. As low as everything's health was, I'm not surprised. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But yeah, I like the thing, but I want to try it on different maps. I was only really able to do Ruined City, Arctic Base, and Impact Site. And I'd really like to try something with a little bit more space to it, where I think it might work out a little better. But, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of getting around, this one at least turned out half decent, so I'll take it.